Helicopters hover overhead as speedboats race through the water. This equipment, put on show in Nigeria's Apapa port, is to be deployed against piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. It's part of the $195 million US-backed Deep Blue Initiative, which aims to stem a rising tide of attacks and kidnappings in the most dangerous place on Earth for seafarers. According to the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Deep Blue is working and stemmed kidnappings in the Gulf of Guinea in the second quarter. That's after a record 130 sailors were abducted in 2020, compared with just five across the rest of the world. But there have already been 50 kidnappings recorded this year. Earlier this month, the USS Herschel Woody Williams docked in Nigeria to train regional security forces to use their new kit. Claire Pierre Angelo is the US Consul General in Nigeria. Maritime security is not just the obligation of, of one nation. It takes cooperative efforts to achieve it. We continue to encourage strong domestic efforts that will integrate the existing regional structures to counter this growing threat of piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, 38% of all hostages taken in the Gulf of Guinea in 2015 were foreign nationals but that rose to 89% in 2020. And experts say it's going to take more than expensive hardware to fix the problem. The Gulf, also known as Pirate Alley, covers more than 900,000 square miles bordering countries from Senegal to Angola. But nearly all of the region's pirates originate from Nigeria's oil-rich but impoverished Niger Delta. We also have some concerns, obviously, with Deep Blue. Jacob Larson is the head of maritime and cybersecurity at Shipowner Association, BIMCO. Development in the region is, is slower than elsewhere. The economy is, is lagging compared to, to the huge potential this, this, this region has in terms of raw materials and so on. It basically has a really negative impact for the region as a whole. So... As international and local firms churn out Nigeria's oil, pollution in the Niger Delta means many people cannot farm or fish. And according to the United Nations, 70% of its roughly 30 million people earn less than $1 a day. UNODC estimates that Delta-based pirates netted $4 million in ransom payments in 2020. Due to the large sums involved, some kingpins are well connected, UNODC found, and there's concern about collusion by security forces. Earlier this year, Nigeria's Navy said it would strengthen measures to root out personnel who collaborate with kidnappers and criminals.